Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. This is part two of Vegan on a Budget. So in the last video, you saw that we, uh, we made a salad um, with some homemade dressing and some toppings. And we actually got enough for not only the one meal, but for uh, two mason jar salads that we put in the fridge. So uh, that was the first part of that. What's left are the beans, the uh, pinto beans that we didn't use. Uh, we used some of them in the salad, but we had bought two cans, so there's quite a few left. Um, the rice, which I've just made in the Instant Pot here. Ow, oh, that's hot. Um, I already have a, uh, a video on how to make Instant Pot brown rice. The uh, package was the exact amount you would need that we use in the other video. So you can watch that to see how to make the rice. But it's in here just uh, releasing the steam, and we'll use that. We'll throw the beans in the rice, we'll throw some uh, sriracha sauce on it, and uh, we'll see how many we can get here. I've got some little... Uh, Serving uh, portion savers, so we'll throw those in the fridge. All right, so I'm gonna let the rest of the steam out here. And there is no more steam, so that's a good sign. This little thing on top of the Instapot, when it drops, uh, then it's safe to open. I love the Instapot, but I always hate opening it because I think it's gonna explode. Here we go. All right, there we go. All right, so just like in the video that I showed you how to make the rice, I've got perfect Instapot brown rice. Um, I'm gonna Spoon some of that out here. And I'm going to make some meals out of this. Alright. As you know, I'm a big fan of rice and beans. So many things that you can do with them. I mean, it's just endless. Um, this is a good example right here. You just uh, throw some beans, some rice, uh, some sliced avocado, some sriracha on top of it, throw in the fridge for portions, and you've got, you know, beans and rice throughout the week, right? Um, always a favorite of mine, so absolutely. Let's throw this in here. All right, All right so I've got two of them right there. All right, All right so I'm gonna add a little uh, sriracha on top of these things. And when I eat them, I'll just kind of throw them together and uh, mix them up. So I've got two of them right here. <laughs> I can smell the sriracha. It's strong. And I think we can get one more out of here. Well, actually, I've got quite a bit of rice left. Um, I just don't think I'll be able to get more beans than this next container, so. All right, let's throw the rest of the beans on that. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. All right. Put the sriracha on this. And then we've got the half of avocado that I saved from the uh, salad. I'm gonna just leave it in the avocado saver. Do you guys have these things? I mean, you really could just put this in a Ziploc bag, suck the air out of it when you close it, and it'll wrap around it, and that will keep it fresh. But uh, I like this, you just kind of put it on here, stretch this around, and throw it in the fridge. I love it when things are simple. So I'm not gonna put this on here now, I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge with this, but I'll know that when I make this, I can grab the avocado with it and just make a meal out of it with the avocado. Um, or I could use the avocado on top of the salad if I want, either way. Okay, so let's figure out the money on this, all right? We spent $10 at the uh, 99 cent store, right? Getting the 10 items, uh, which we still have. Like the onions, that was a bag of like five. We still have four onions that we'd even use, right? On this, if you're a fan of onions, you could totally throw some onions in the, uh, in the you know, saute pan and saute them up and put on caramelized onions. I'm not a big fan of onions. So you can do that. There's a lot more garlic left. There's still five limes left. You could squeeze some lime on top of this, which is something I was gonna do, but didn't get around to it. Um, but that's available also. There's still chipotle chili peppers left. There's still a lot left. On some of these things, we've just used like a portion of them. But we did spend $11.50. If you figure out um, the cashews, then we got six full meals out of this. We got the three uh, beans and rice right here, and uh, we got the three salads, right? So that's six meals, right? If you figure out 11 dollars divided by six, you're at about just under $2 a meal, about $1.91 per meal. Now, not only are these vegan meals for $1.91, Per meal, they're whole food plant based. They're healthy. All we're using is ingredients. Nothing is processed. I mean, don't you love that? Um, so 
you're not only eating plant-based, you're eating oil-free, you're eating sugar-free, and you're eating unprocessed food for $1.91 a meal. So we got six meals, which, which if you made this on a Sunday, right? Because you know I love the food prep, right? If you made this on a Sunday, you would have uh, lunch and dinner for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? You could have spent $13 at the, uh, at the dollar store and got some extra, another can of rice, uh, beans. There's still plenty of rice, right? Um, a little few more cashews and, and we had salad left over. We didn't even use that. I wound up tossing because what was I going to do with that? I already made three salads and just didn't have enough dressing. You could have stretched another $2 worth of ingredients and got enough food for Thursday also. Um, that would have given you four meals for lunch and four meals for dinner, right? Four and four, which would have given you uh, food prep from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday, you go out to a lovely vegan restaurant, right? So, I mean, there you have it. Is it economical to eat vegan? It can be. It can also be economical to eat whole food plant-based. And that's what we're promoting here, not just vegan. If you're really trying to, to you know, to do some self-improvement and to eat less processed food, you want to cut out the oil, the sugar, and the salt where possible. We use a little bit of salt. Um, so you're not just eating vegan, you're, really, you're eating whole food plant-based. You're eating, you know, non-processed food. Um, if you can do that five days a week, I think that's fantastic, right? Um, you know, by the time we get to Friday, even I'm ready to go out to dinner. So that's my day. I've been working long and hard. Um, doing videos, doing my regular job as a real estate agent, you know, helping my son with homework. And Friday night, I'm just, you know, I'm ready. Let's just go get, you know, a vegan pizza or whatever. I don't eat a whole food plant-based every day. But for Monday through Thursday, and then usually Sunday night because I'm preparing food. So really Sunday through Thursday, this is how I eat. If you like this video and you like this series, hit the like button, please. Please subscribe to our channel. There's so many other things I want to show you. I have quite a few ideas from the 99 cents store. Every time I go there, I'm inspired. I know it sounds silly, but there's so many meals I can put together. And I, you know, I think I want to do that too. A lot of people are turning vegan um, beginning of the year like this. And this kind of sets the, the path for people who might be young and in college or whatever, or just starting out with the family. You know, money might be tight. This is the way to do it. $1.91 a meal, right? Hit the subscribe button and please leave a comment. We would love to hear what you thought of this. Are you like, oh, come on, that's impossible. Or you're like, hey, this is the way I do it all the time. I'm an economical vegan. Right? Vegan on a budget. There it is right there. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.